Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Digital. Today we're gonna to enter into lesson two of our marketing landscape here for entrepreneurs and small business owners. So today we're gonna to talk all about the value journey. You're gonna hear the customer value journey, the client value journey, the value journey worksheet, whatever you uh, pick your favorite thing. Customer value journey is generally what we go with. So we're gonna handle that today. We're gonna to talk all about it right after this. Hey everyone, welcome back. Once again, my name is John. We are from Bite Size Digital. Today, we're gonna to talk all about the customer value journey. So there are eight stages in this journey. Some of them are inter, not interchangeable, but interwoven where you can kind of go forward and backwards and all around. This is not a stagnant one-time process that you're gonna follow with your clients. So in our last lesson, we had you do a little homework, come up with your ideal client. We're now gonna use that ideal client and we're gonna take them through the customer value journey. So we start on this, the first uh, little quadrant here is going to be awareness. I, re I recommend highly that you, uh, there's a full class of oh, just on the customer value journey. They're all over the internet. Uh, Digital Marketer does a really good one. They have the worksheet that you can download. I highly, value, I highly recommend downloading it and putting it up and writing uh, different things into the blocks that'll give you some inspiration. So the first one is awareness. Awareness is literally what we call ads to cold traffic. So um, if you're driving down whatever highway is close to you, we're by 95, and you see a billboard. A billboard is your awareness ad, right? So you throw something up there. People don't necessarily know who you are. You're just throwing an ad out there to a, a group of people. So what we want to do there is we want to kind of really kind of get to know or start to explain yourself to people. So here we're not selling, right? I think it's important. One of the things is we go through these steps in the value journey, we're going to go keep going back to that, like eye to body, eye to eye. We're not trying to close right away, right? We're not trying to hit that, that final stage yet. What we're trying to do is we're trying to introduce ourselves. We're trying to get you to, to figure out a little bit, just to recognize who we are. Oh, that's John, right? Or, oh, that's, Bite Size Digital, or oh, that's your company. So that's what awareness does. If you've ever gone to like, the best example I can kind of give on this is if you've ever gone to look for a car and you say, hey, I'm gonna buy a Jeep Wrangler. And then all of a sudden on the, the road, you're gonna start seeing Jeep Wranglers, right? That's a very big brand awareness. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Uh, there's a great example of awareness in Philly. There's ads up that say, I hate Steven Singer. Um, everybody would go, who's Steven Singer? What's this all about? You go home, you Google it, and you find out Steven Singer's a jeweler, right? It's the whole, it's a really fun kind of play on your uh, girlfriend wants a ring. So you hate Steven Singer because you have to go there and buy the ring, get it? So. Uh, awareness, we want to kind of be uh, putting ourselves out there so that you then become aware of that brand. Just like we're all aware of Nike and Doritos and Pepsi and Coke. It's because they advertise. So this is simply just putting yourself out there. Next up is engage. Engage is having a conversation. So it's a little more of a back and forth. This could be comments on a video. It could be uh, blogs that you write and then comments that you have after your blog. So when you think of engagement, think of actually having conversations. I will argue sometimes that you don't need to publish things to do this. You just go on LinkedIn or Twitter or any platform that you like and just answer questions. So if you see a post, somebody says, oh, I'm interested in going here. I, I find this works really well in Facebook groups. If you join a Facebook group, people will invariably ask questions. You can just answer those questions. You're not promoting anything. You're not trying to sell them anything. You're just trying to answer their question. So that's a really good one. The next one up is subscribe. This is where we're going to exchange a piece of value for contact information. So you might want their phone number, their email address, uh, their name, whatever you might wanna know. We're going to have to give them value for that. They value an email address at around $20 in marketing. So try to give your client $20 worth of value. Do you have something that they could download? Do you have some little piece of information that you could give them that's valuable? Remember, a lot of what we do in marketing is we're just giving information away. What you're going to find is that if you prove yourself as a subject matter expert, people aren't gonna wanna do it themselves anyway. They're gonna wanna come back to you and say, you know what, thanks so much for this piece of information. It's done nothing more than just promote yourself as the person who really knows what they're doing. 
So I read your thing. I thought it was really great. We'd love for you to do X. We'd love to buy your product, whatever it is. So in this, all we want to do is exchange that piece of uh, information for contact information. Now from this one, we can go back to uh, engagement. We can go back to awareness. Remember, you can weave in and out of all of these. So then the next one up is convert. So I will argue. So most people will tell you here that conversion is money. They take out their wallet, they buy something. Now they're a client. doesn't matter if they spend a dollar or $50 or a million dollars. A client is a client. However, as an entrepreneur or a small business owner, I will argue that time is more valuable than money. You can make more money, you can never make more time. So if you go out and someone agrees to have lunch with you, that's far more valuable to me than a dollar or $20 sale. Because now you can really kind of get inside their head, learn what their needs are, uh, see if you relate to that person, see if they're a good fit for your company. So conversion could be time or money, remember, Go to convert, you can go back to subscribe after that, you can go back to aware, you can go back to engagement. We're just trying to get in there and then we don't want them to forget about us or you to forget about them. Next up is arguably the most important stage in this journey for me, and that is Excite. I always say one of the things I we talk to clients about all the time is, is your, is your product or service valuable? Is it good? If it's not, we could sell it once, you know, you can market it uh, a couple times, we can get people to buy it. But if it's if you don't have a consistently good product, or service, more importantly, as well, you're never going to be able to continue building a client base and get things going. So do you have process? Do you have a really good customer service system in place? Do you get back to people quickly? Do you solve problems? That is super important. Remember, once we get to excite, then we can really keep going back to convert, to convert, to convert, to convert, right? But you have to excite. Next up, we have Ascend. Do you have more than one product? Do you have different levels of products? So do you have a $10 product, a $100 product, a $1,000 product? If you do a really good job and you perform really good customer service, people will continue to buy things from you. So you can sell them more things or you could have them buy more things if you're really good. And it doesn't even have to be perfectly aligned with what you're doing. It could be slightly adjacent, right? So maybe you uh, are you clean uh, gutters, right? And then maybe you also have a roof uh, business, right? Because then that they kind of work together there. Um, the famous example is dentist, right? If you go into your dentist office, they have a plan that you could buy like a monthly doll, a monthly plan or a yearly plan. And then that's gonna promote you to come back in the office and maybe do um, teeth cleaning, maybe do whitening, maybe do uh, that, get that crown that you always wanted, maybe get caps or fillings or veneers or whatever it is, right? And keep moving up and ascending and buying more things. That's how you create lifelong customers. And then the last two are very simple advocate and promote. So do you have people that are advocates of your company? If you do, they're probably willing to do like a testimonial, right? And then promoters are your crazy, crazy Apple people, the people that will get in line every year for a brand new phone, that will tell everybody about CrossFit or bacon or Orange Theory, right? Whatever the crazy thing that's going on at the moment is, pickleball, right? That's what you really want. And those are the things to focus on and then keep bringing them back around through the journey. People never leave this journey, right? That's why it's not the customer value destination. It's the customer value journey. We're going to take them through it over and over and over again. That's the customer value journey. I really recommend that you download the, uh, the worksheet. I think it's great. Put ideas in there for each step of the, of the journey. We could talk about that more. We're going to do a live stream in a few weeks that we could talk about that. Next week, we're going to move on to the next uh, next lesson. So thanks so much for watching. We really would appreciate if you would subscribe, like the video, and then follow us on this journey. And we're going to take you through each step of marketing as an entrepreneur or a small business owner. Remember, the goal is not for you to do your own marketing. You could do that if you really wanted to, but it's really to equip you with the knowledge so that you know, okay, I'm going to hire somebody to do marketing. Uh, what what is important for me to know? How can I hold them accountable? Uh, is it worth it to pay somebody to do it? That's it. Thanks so much. Once again, my name is John. I will talk to you all soon. Thanks and have a good day. Bye-bye.